inocente Si no lo vence, soy un racha who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community And give my opinion because my opinion matters Sorry about that Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you're not subscribing, welcome to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, remember, if I don't upload, it's usually not because I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, feel me. Everything's okay. There's just usually not cheese man, enough cheese man. So I do apologize to my daily watcher. I do appreciate you guys for checking up on me. Also, I am going to be doing a huge giveaway again at 150,000 subscribers so don't be discouraged to subscribe because it's only gonna benefit you at the end of the day remember then make sure to follow me on instagram and send me a message if you want to be in my drama group chat yeah feel me where we basically get early access just send me a message i'll give you the application and you're good you're good now let's go ahead and get started with this week's freaker of the week or my little tweakers and it goes to i almost broke my phone i thought it was my wi-fi Now, if you guys missed it with the whole Jay Cook situation, I feel like I haven't updated you guys a lot with, with what's been going on. Yeah, feel me. And recently, he made this video basically talking to his ex-baby mama. And in this video, not only did he throw a little bit low-key shade, aside from that, he was talking to this young lady. I just feel like the way that you made it seem, you made it seem like I did this intentionally and like I, when I did it. That I, sh that I, uh, that I should still have like a, how you say it, like a, some type of, some type of part, somehow, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, uh, if I can, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to still be a part of her life, is that what you're trying to I don't know why you're still talking to her and trying to get closure. The fact that she didn't wouldn't let you get a DNA test and still won't own up to it. She knows what she did and she knows what she's doing. Stop giving her more attention in the cloud. This is what she wants. She wanted to trap you and that's exactly what she's doing now. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. If you let her be in a part of your past. The bank. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not sit here and watch the whole thing. I did kind of watch some of it and I kind of already got, you know, my knowledge off of watching some of it. Why'd you call her? Yeah, feel me? Um, at the end of the day, that's something that she should have done because she was the one that was in the mistake here, young man. Yeah, feel me? You did nothing wrong. You called her and you apologized for her, basically. Second of all, all I did here was me, 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 I, 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 you made me look like the bad person. You painted me like the bad person. I uh, man, shut up. Uh, you lied. Yeah, feel me? You got the mind, 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 mind. You know what I'm saying? With all due respect, yeah, feel me? You know, you were kind of like the mang, mang, mang central. Yeah, feel me? So you got double dipped in the process and you knew this. Yeah, feel me? So don't act like you did it. So don't say that why are people painting you as a bad person when in reality you caused this to yourself, you Dublidian citizen. And aside from that, I I saw somebody say this. A man should focus on building his own kingdom, not join someone else's. Sheesh. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Work on yourself. Why are you trying to force yourself, insert yourself in somebody's life, Yafim? You didn't give that baby, Yafim. I know you gave her the mang, mang, mang. But when you were manking her, somebody else actually zavanked in her. And unfortunately, you know, with process of elimination, it wasn't you. You're young. Don't try to force yourself. You know, I understand you had a lot of love for the baby, Yafim, et cetera, et cetera. But you have to distance yourself while you can. Why? you try to go back and you know get involved with this whole situation you yeah, feel me when the baby's not yours it's just as simple as that and that's just my personal opinion but make sure to comment down below what do you guys think do you guys think it was okay for him to call her make sure to comment down below i'm eager to hear what you guys have to say but aside from this whole thing when he was talking to the baby mama cheese mando because he was on the phone when you're on your phone you're basically cheese mando with the person and when he was on the phone cheese mando with ex baby mama he basically said thanks to this whole situation i didn't have to deal with the my ex which was basically Basically, Val, yeah, feel me. So we all gotta ignore the fact where he slipped tea on his ex Val. Oh no, 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 no! I'm ignoring nothing. Saying especially like when I kept asking, like I'm coming from LA, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a relationship with a girl. I'm, I'm obviously I'm happy that things worked out the way they did because that 
that female was not meant for me anyways. Like I, you know what I'm saying? With what I know about her now, what I know about her now, what I know about her now, but I'm saying like. Que la boca mata. Por eso chitona yo, mata. Entiende? Eh. Oíste? Que te quiero entender. And he found out things about her. My sheeshes have been improved. Don't be shy. What did you find out? You feel me? Don't be shy. Let us know. I'm not too sure, you know, what he can be alluding to. You know, a lot of you guys were commenting. Was he lying though? You know what I'm saying? That, that basically she's known, you know, to be talking to a lot of people. I don't really know this young lady, so I don't know if she was double dipping or triple dipping because young ladies can be double dipping as well. But do you guys think, you know, it was that Jay Cook's fault that they broke up? Or do you think, you know, in reality, you know, Jay Cook's telling some truth to this that maybe Val low key, low key was doing something shady? Make sure to comment down below aside from that just an update on the armadillo twins like i did mention in the other video uh, i did say that i'm pretty sure they didn't break up they were probably just an Alan and benny 2.0 like i'm so done with him i'm just done it's too much i'm through <laughs> Oh, uh, protocol type thing and I'm not really surprised but at the end of the day I'm glad that she went back with Mr. Ramiro and an update on Jose Ochoa with the whole San Diego girl because to me it kind of just you know intrigues me a little bit uh, so the San Diego girl if you guys don't remember was basically throwing shade at Jose Ochoa because he was basically double dipping I feel me he was cheating on her he was dancing with another young lady she was very upset put him on blast on live somebody put him on blast on TikTok I don't really know who it was but that video has 300,000 views so, so she put him on blast on live and then to my understanding now they're back on live but basically now they're telling a story on their first hug on their first encounter how they basically gave each other their first side hug and whatnot so i mean me dieron like you know like i haven't seen you in two weeks so you know i kept you know and then the first thing i seen you because i thought i was like oh everyone's ready so you go to the restroom i go in there with you close the door and what did i do when you try to close the door you were like, no, everyone's there. You don't want like that, you know? So, obviously, uh, for a girl's respect, that's on your side, you know? You gave yourself the respect, you know? But me as a guy, you know, like, I'm all, I'm all like, you know? And then I was there, so the first thing I did grab you and I put you on the stink. Hey, pero ta fuerte. Tu eres fisiculturista. Claro, compadre. And then that's when my chain broke, and then I was like, so it wasn't that juicy, but it just... It was, yeah. <laughs> And it's just kind of interesting to me because, you know, the girl kind of threw some shade at you, you feel me? And then, and then you're over here, well, well, cola, you feel me, running back to her and with all due respect. And the girl kind of threw some shade at you, called you a double dipper. And then now you're back on live with her telling the first story when you guys hugged. The young lady was over here like, hey, yeah. And when I picked her up, oh my gosh, I put her in the bed. Shut up. Come at your Flintstone vitamins and then you can start, you know, picking people up. You feel me? Feel me. I don't know what you're picking up. You're not picking up nothing. And the world news that I want to, you know, touch into. This isn't something that's, you know, that just happened. This is something that's been a slow process, but it did come up again on the news because I guess there's a solution to it. If you guys didn't know, in Jakarta, I think that's how you pronounce it, located in Indonesia, it's basically sinking, you feel me? The city is literally sinking, and the only solution that they have now, you know, they have a good solution, wait for it, wait for it, they're just gonna relocate them somewhere else. Sorry about that. They're moving all these people into, like, natural habitat, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna ruin animal life and agriculture that's going on, and that's really not fixing the solution, you know what I'm saying? I thought they would come and kind of come up with another solution, but they're just gonna relocate them and then kind of let it sink, to my understanding. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Remember to follow my social medias. If you do want to be in my uh, drama group chat, uh, just shoot, shoot me a message and uh, we'll go ahead and run your application process. And I really do appreciate you guys. La dona, la dona le salen bien machina a mi papá. La dona. Sí, mi papá es el que le hace el hoyo. La dona. Eh, por no es con lo que usted está pensando, eh. No, oh, si fuera con lo que están pensando, le sale una rosca de rey a mi papá. Ay, ¿qué dijiste? No, no pues. No, de hecho nunca pensé nada, man. Ah, ¿no? No. Ah, entonces la mente guachafrosa la traigo yo. Entonces, el, el, oye, el, el guarachón, el guarachón este, ¿qué precio tiene? Si quiere le quito el guarachón y le doy un mamón, o como guste. Ajá. Usted dígame qué, qué va a llevar. 
1 a 12. 1 a 12. ¿Cuánto va a llevar? Se lo puedo dejar en promoción. O va a ser. Van a ser tres mamones, un garrote o garrotón, ¿cómo dice que se llama? Tres mamones, un garrotón. Una dona también, échame la dona. La donita. Pero échame que, la dona. Que no falte la dona, que como que écheme la dona, como. Pues usted me está diciendo, pues también. No, pues si tú me pides que te eche la dona.